What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're going to be drawing Outlaw Cold from Brawl Stars. Let's get started by drawing the eyes in the center of the page. Now the left eyebrow is going to be dropped on top of the eye. So we're going to start over here. Start with the angled line. Start from the outside. And down. And then in. We're just going to round out the ends of the eyebrow. Starting from the top, we're just going to draw almost like a half circle. Coming back in. And on the inside, we're going the opposite direction. And we'll close off the top with a straight line. Now we'll tuck the eye underneath the eyebrow. Starting over on the left side, we're going to draw an oval. Curving down towards the bottom. And then up towards the inside. Now we're going to leave a gap in the center of the face and draw a full oval on the right side. So we're going to line up the top of the eyebrow over towards the right and draw on that oval. Coming down towards the same height that we have on the left. And pull that back up towards the top. And we'll push the pupils towards the inside of the eye. Starting on the left underneath the eyebrow, and draw a smaller oval, coming around and back up. We'll leave a little gap on the inside edge of the eye. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. Coming down and then back up. We'll fill the pupils in black. And then the eyebrow on the right is going to be raised up above the eye. So let's start on the inside. We're going to angle up above the eye and out. And then again, we're going to round up the inside and outside of the eyebrow. And we'll connect the ends with a straight line. Then we're going to line up with the bottom edge of the eyes, move to the center and draw the nose. So we'll start on the left side. We're going to curve down and then up on the right. Now let's move down and draw the mouth. From the center, we're going to shift over toward the left, curve out. I'm just going to pull this up on the right side. Now we're going to move out and draw the inside edge of the beard. From the left eye, I'm going to step out. Start by curving down and then in, directly underneath the left eye. Line this up on the right, curve down and then in towards the same height. And then from here, we're going to angle down and in towards the chin with a straight line. Let's go back to the left side. We're going to close off the bottom of the chin and draw a curve coming down and then up. And then in the center of the chin, we're going to add an X. Now we're going to go back up and draw the outside edge of the beard. Starting on the left side, we're going to curve this out, down, and then we'll just hook that back in. Do the same thing on the right. Going out, down, and then in. Now we're going to do an overlap. Stepping back out. And curve down, in, and then just pull that up towards the bottom corner of the chin. And do the same thing on the right. Let's add the ears on the side. From that top point, we're going to step down, curve up, down, and pull the ear in behind the head. And do the same thing on the right. Going out, down, and then in. We're also going to add a small fold along the top of the ear. Stepping down, we'll curve up and out. Do the same thing on the right. Now from the top of the beard, we're going to angle up and in for the side of the head. We'll start on the left, angle up and in. We'll do the same thing on the right side to the same height. Now we're going to change the angle. We're going to come in and up on both sides. And then from the top, we'll angle down and in towards the center point. Let's start on the left. Coming down and in towards the middle. Angle up and out towards the right. Now I want to continue this line going up and then bending this out towards the side of the head. Go up and bend that out. Do the same thing on the right side. And then we're going to work our way towards the top of the head. Starting on the left, go up. And bend that in. And then we'll connect the inside with a half circle. Starting on the left side, we're going to go up towards the top of the hair, round this out, and then come down on the right. Let's add a curve. Starting on the left, come in and bend that down. 
Let's add one more along the top. Starting on the left, I'm going to curve down and in. Go over towards the right, do the same thing. Then we're going to close off the side of the head. Starting on the left side, we start by curving out and then down. Do the same thing on the right side. And then we'll angle down and in on top of the ear. Let's go back to the side of the eye and add some wrinkles. On the left side, we draw a straight line. Step down, we're going to angle this down and out. And then we'll line this up on the right and do the same thing. Now that we completed the head, let's work our way down the body. We're going to start with the collar first. Underneath the chin in the center, start with the point. From here, we're going to angle up and out toward the left, and then the right. Now let's add in the collar. From the top, we'll step down, angle down and out towards the tip of the collar on both sides. And then we'll go straight up underneath the head. And then from the top of the collar, we're going to step out and curve out the side of the body. Let's start on the left side, bring it out, and then down. And do the same thing on the right. Then on the left side, we're going to draw a straight line coming in. We're going to leave a gap in the center of the vest. Do the same thing on the right. I'm just going to pull this up underneath the collar, going straight up. Let's move to the center and draw that star-shaped belt buckle. Starting in the middle, start with a point. From here, we're going to angle out and down toward the left and right. We'll go out with a straight line. Now we're going to pull this down and in towards the inside. Let's work our way down towards the bottom. Back on the left, angle down and out toward the left and right. And we'll pull this up towards the middle, toward the center point. Now from the buckle, we're going to step down, draw a curve, from left to right, going up and down. Now we're going to leave a gap in the center, move over towards the left, curve out and down towards the left heel, go over towards the right, curve out and bend that down towards the right heel. And then we'll round out the bottom of the feet, starting from the heel, and curve down and up towards the toe, and then we'll do the same thing on the right side. And then we're going to round out the top of the foot. Starting from the toe, we're going to draw almost like a half circle aiming towards the heel. But we're not going to go all the way. We're going to stop right about there and do the same thing on the right. Going up to the top and then bending that down. Now from the inside, I'm just going to curl that back up towards the inside of the leg. Let's move back up and draw the sides of the leg. Starting from the bottom corner of the vest, we're going to step in and curve out down and then bend that in on top of the foot and then we'll do the same thing on the right. Let's draw the belt in an angle going in behind the buckle. So we start on the left hip, angle up, in behind the star and then go up underneath the vest. Now I'm going to step down and draw that again, that same angle line going up and then we'll continue on the right. Then I'm going to add a bullet on either side. Starting on the left, we're going to draw two angled lines, coming down, go to the right, and do the same thing. Now along the bottom, we're going to step up and just draw a short line going across. Let's add the gun holster on the left hip. From the top of the belt, we'll step up, draw a straight line going out, straight down toward the bottom, and then we'll pull that in behind the leg. Now we're going to draw this character holding two pistols. So we're going to start at the top of the body, we're going to step out, curve out, and then down towards the inside of the elbow. We'll do the same thing on the right side. And then from here we're going to angle up and out towards the wrist with a short line. Now back on the left, we want to curl the thumb around. So we're going to start from the wrist and curve in and up, round this out. Now we're going to round up the thumb and then go back up. Do the same thing on the right. Starting from the wrist, we'll curve in, round out the top, come down, and then just pull that back up. And then from the inside of the thumb, we're going to hook out and then in the palm. From the very top of the thumb, we draw the bottom edge of the gun. Going out and then up, 
Do the same thing on the right. Starting from the top of the thumb, angle up, and then out. And then from the end, we're just gonna flatten this off, going up and in. And we're just gonna pull that back in towards the hand. And we'll pull that straight back down towards the top of the thumb. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going up towards the top, go across and in, and we'll pull that back down towards the top of the thumb. Let's add the trigger finger just below the gun. Starting along the bottom edge, we're going to draw an oval. Point up, down in towards the thumb, round it out, and then go back up. Let's do the same thing on the right. Just drawing that oval, going in towards the thumb, and back to the top. And then we're going to stack two more fingers just underneath. Starting from the bottom of this finger, curve up, down, and then we'll tuck that in behind the thumb. Do that one more time. Let's do the same thing over on the right. And then we're going to wrap the trigger around the top finger. Starting underneath the gun, go around and then tuck that in. Do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to continue to add more detail to the gun. From the trigger, we're going to draw a straight line going out. Pull that up underneath. Then from the top corner of the gun, we're going to step in, draw a short line going up, a little curve that in and then down. And then we'll split the body of the gun in half. Starting from the bottom, we're just going to draw an angle line going up towards the top. From the center of this line, we'll draw two straight lines coming down towards the back. And we'll close it off with a curve. Let's do the same thing on the right. And then from the inside corner, we'll step down, curve in, and then down in behind the thumb. And then halfway along this curve, we'll draw a straight line coming in, we'll curve down, and then back out. Now I'm going to go back down and draw on the handle. Starting underneath the bottom finger, curve down, and I'm just going to pull this up towards the thumb. Do the same thing on the right. Starting from underneath the finger, curve down, and then back up. Let's go back to the bottom of the handle. I'm going to curve down, and then in. The same thing on the right, this is for the bottom edge of the hand. And then from here we're going to do an overlap. Stepping back out, curve down, round up the elbow, and then up in behind the body. Then we'll go back to the inside of the elbow and draw on the sleeve. Starting on the left, we'll curve in and then down. Do the same thing on the right. And then we'll roll up the sleeve. We're going to step up and just draw that same curve coming in. We'll do the same thing on the right. And that's pretty much it. There's Outlaw Colt from Brawl Stars. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.